No, I found a new TV show. Um, <laughs> it's on Prime, like the first season is. Uh, and it's basically Lost. It's like Lost, but better if you ask me. So here's the premise, okay? And it's got the black guy from Lost. I don't know that actor's name. I, this is the all I've ever seen him in, but it's the black guy from Lost. That, that dude, if you've seen Lost. Michael? Sure, if you say so. Um, that basically, um, you're, th- these people are in a town that you can't leave. If you try to drive out of town, the road just kind of makes a loop and brings you back. Everybody got there because they were driving along. There was a tree in the road. They turned around, headed back the other way. And now they're kind of in like a pocket universe or something. They're in this Twilight Zone sort of um, episode that is this town. And they can't get out of it no matter what they do. And at night, monsters come and eat people. Okay. Do new people get added to the cast? or Constantly. Is it very... Okay. Yeah. This is Damon Lindelof. Is, I don't know what that what. What's the name of the show? From F R O M. Oh no, he has the other Lost creator guy has another show. I guess. Okay, continue. This is where is it streamed? Um, so you can watch the first season on Prime. That's the place to do it. Amazon Prime's stream. Um, the second season because it's produced by them is on MGM Plus. Yeah, I'd never heard of it either, but I'll tell you what, I'm a new subscriber over there because. <laughs> Because I had to see season two, and there's three episodes of season two out right now, and I had to keep it rolling. I, I, I powered through this whole goddamn show last night, all through the fucking night. How, I how many? It so uh, much. How long are the episodes? Like hour? <sighs> They're like fifty minutes each. Um, I, I, I. But I've, what I've are you watching on MGM Plus now? Now they're like, you want to watch Wizard of Oz again? Yeah, I, I have this, show. <laughs> dude. I, 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 when I bought it, it was like, all right, buy. Now episode one go because epi- the end of season one I'm not I'm not gonna spoil anything obviously but the end of season one is a cliffhanger and it's like oh shit I gotta find out what's what happened you know because a lot of shit goes down at the end of season one so basically you got these monsters that come at night and there's townsfolk at this point who are they who've accumulated over the years and it's this real mixed bag and there's two groups one group is kind of a hippie group that lives up on the hill in an old like mansion house. The, like a farmhouse really mm-hmm. lots of rooms and they're in there doing smoking weed and drinking and fucking and then there's the townsfolk and that's the more like the couples and the families and uh and they're in more of a like a, they, there's a diner and the thing it, there were a few things that bothered me about the show at first i needed some answers but there's so many questions at first they can't get to them quickly enough i'm like all right where's the food coming from they they explain that they explain where the food comes from and then I was like, all right, well, where's the fucking electricity coming from? They not only explain it, they make it a, a, a whole centerpiece of the show about why the electricity here is weird. Um, and then I was like, well, all right, the road is some weird magical loop. What happens if we start walking into the woods? And then they answer that. They, they're like, all right, well, let's go into the woods and find out. The only thing that's a little hokey, and they eventually explain it, um, a child gets injured in the first episode severely. And I'm thinking, damn. That kid's probably not going to make it. And at the end of the episode, he's on some crutches. And I was like, <sighs> but then later on, they kind of explain that away enough that um, I'm digging the show. And it reminds me of Lost a lot, a lo- more low budget Lost. Um, and it reminds me a lot of the Twilight Zone, like a good Twilight Zone episode. Um, Love that. I powered through that first season really quick. And I'm digging the second season. I'm three. I'll look that up after three the show episodes. Yeah, I, I like the way that sounds too. And I, I really loved oh. Lost. And I, I even liked the way Lost ended. I was content with the whole here's experience. The, hmm. Here's the thing that fucking hooked me in the first episode. Um, they, no, it's too much of a spoiler. I'll say this. They show a dead body. And it's so gory and shocking that I was like, oh. You don't usually see that on TV. They show a thing that you don't usually see on TV. You're like, as a felon, I am intrigued. Oh, they wouldn't. Yeah, they would. They they in prison. Like those cartel photos. Yeah, it's a cartel photo. Like, but but it happens in a room. You see it, and uh, and you know, um, women and children aren't aren't safe. Uh, Nobody's safe. If you're outside at night, they get you and they skin you alive while your friends listen to you scream and like eat Ah. you and. And like tear you apart, really eviscerate you in a in like, like animalistic going outside after night or after dark. Yeah, and the the only hokey thing is there's a they've got like some magical talismans that you have to put on the inside of your door to keep the bad guys out. Um, That's not oh, hokey no. in the context of a like, Judaism, like ridiculous world. Go. Where all trapped. Yes. I'll call it a, a, a mezuzah. mezuzah. Yeah. <laughs> 
a mezuzah. So they've all got mezuzahs. Hey, don't own. laugh at our words. Oh, so really? I'm excited to watch that show from. I yes. really do. I really want right. something interesting. I need you know how Lost would two have... on Plex. Just you know, oh. dropping hints. Oh That's God, good. I gotta send that guy my my fucking email sometimes. Oh, so dude, it it kills me because Kyle will talk about like five cool movies from 1997 and then i look at like what's been added and it's all five like in order that we talked about them on the show he's on everything he's i i'm sure from will show yeah well um i i do recommend this show i i like it a bunch i don't think it's like a fucking triple a title or anything mm. uh but it's better than just a background noise show because they've paid a lot of attention to detail to i'm nitpicky I'll believe in wizards and aliens and ghouls and shit as long as you establish some rules and you stick to them. And as long as you don't leave glaring p plot holes. Like I said, there was a part where a child gets hurt and he heals too quickly. And no, nothing is said of it for a while. And I was mm. like, the fuck, dude? That was a serious injury that kid took. And then somebody's like, man, you're, you're healing kind of fast, huh, buddy? And he's like, I think people heal different here. And then it's like, all right, that's all I fucking needed. That's all I needed. Tell me people heal, di heal, heal differently here, mm -hmm. and I can buy that his leg's cool now and that he didn't die just now. Holy shit. Because yeah. he should have. If there's an aspect of magic, it's easy to, you know. Well, see, um, part of the fun of the show, and I still don't know, so I, there's nothing for me to spoil, but it's like, man, are they dead? Is this like a sci-fi type thing? Is this another universe that they fell into? Is this a religious type thing? Are those demons after them? Is God on their side? Is there an overseer like like watching through a glass uh, like hologram? Like you don't know like what the fucking deal is. How long is how many episodes are in the first season? Like 10 episodes, like 45, 50 minutes each. You tore through and 9 hours of this show yesterday? I started watching yesterday at like I don't know, 8 p.m. or something. And I stayed up like all night watching the show. And then I got up today and polished off another four or five episodes or something. Wow. All right. Well, if it was that in engaging, <laughs> I, I, I'm so tired of only finding stuff that like I watch for 20 minutes and I'm like, oh, yeah, this is like this should be squarely in background noise. Like this isn't even worth thinking. They about. haven't annoyed me yet. They haven't annoyed me. And it's, it's, it's easy to annoy me and lose my business as a viewer for whatever value that has. But I, I, I'm on season two of From Now. So I'm pre I'm awesome. almost caught up on that. I think I'm be maybe two episodes in. There's maybe four out so far. So I'm just mm -hmm. two two down. I'm enjoying it. Um, I am a little frustrated by the speed at which it's going and how that can sometimes play out in incompetently slow witted and slow moving characters. It's absolutely driving me nuts. Uh, there's a scene where they set up like a piece of electronics outdoors and the rain starts to come. Oh my god! Oh my god! They have like eighteen people on the case of moving it in, and they can't get it accomplished in time. Dude. Is this huge and, issue for them? Let me quickly tell them like what we're talking about and fancy. Okay. So, so from is this show? The first season of it is on uh, Amazon Prime. The second season, you know, in North America, is, this shit is anyway. Uh, I've been watching on MGM Plus, but I'm sure you could find it a different way. Uh, basically, it's lost, but instead of an island, <clears throat> these people got there because. Their cars, they were driving along on a road, could have been in Georgia, could have been in California, but they saw a, a tree in the middle of the road, and they're like, huh, got to turn back the other way. And the other way turned out to be just now this loop of a road in kind of a pocket universe with a little abandoned town in it. And the town's got people who this also happened to in it. They're all just stuck there with whatever supplies they came with in their cars. And at night, monsters come, and they eat you if you don't, and you have to stay inside. And yep. it's just like Lost. Every episode, you're like, oh my God, not only are there monsters, there's there's demons now. And it, what? There, there's the, the ground is hollow? Like mm -hmm. every every episode, it's a new crazy mystery that you're finding out. And I've been enjoying it. It's got the black guy from Lost, mm -hmm. which I want them at the end to tie this back into Lost, like like with him somehow. Like, like go ahead and do that. For God me. damn it. How is from Hurley's dream? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just wanted to make a Hurley little at reference to Lost, right? I, I love it when they do that. Like when fucking who played Barney in How I Met Your Mother? He's uh, Neil Patrick he Harris. And he's gay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. If Neil Patrick Harris just makes a little, you know, reference to how he's what did he used to say? He was awesome, but he sang it out. Uh, I haven't seen that show really. Nah, yeah, shucks. Episode, anyway, yeah. if he would just like make a reference to his catchphrase in the old show, I love it when they do that. Oh, this guy sure, should sure, be sure. like, "Oh, I'm afraid the others are out there," or just whatever. Dead did that a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
It'd be fun. They would have. Uh, I know they had Negan's bat in an episode of Supernatural, and then um, Negan had the gun from Escape from New York. He had uh, Snake Plissken's gun in an episode, which is an awful gun. It's like a suppressed Mac with like a rifle scope on it. So the mm-hmm. eye relief doesn't make sense. You got you hold it at arm length, and now the scope doesn't work. But you can't hold a Mac. The actor who played Glenn, and maybe there's more crossover, was in a cartoon called Invincible. Oh, and yeah. in Walking Dead, there's a handful of like Invincible cart, like action figures and stuff in it. Little, little mm. action. Oh. I, I didn't gonna... want to completely get away from From, though. I do want people to watch it because I think oh, it's yeah. a fun show. Um, you know, it's not some AAA title. It's not fucking Breaking Bad or uh, Game of Thrones, but it's a real fun show to watch. And I'm, I'm going to, I watch it as soon as it comes out because I want to know. I'm going to be so mad if they're fucking us over and they have no idea what the, all the answers to all the goofy ass questions they're, they're asking. I, I, I need to know is God, is it God? Is it demons? Is it magic? Is it warlocks and wizards? Is it, is they it black it magic? Clear they're not dead. I feel like they've told us three times that they're not dead. <laughs> yeah. They asked the yeah. question. There's a, this is not a spoiler, but there's one group in the show that writes their stuff on the wall in an effort to figure out the overarching mystery. And they asked, are we dead? And then, they explain it. And they keep ensuring us it's not purgatory. It's not death. So that I think <laughs> we're, we're nice supposed to know. Um, Here's the I thing think that bugs from, me. Is, no me Bibles. Do, yeah, please go. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, interesting about the Bibles. I, I Shit, I got knocked off my train of thought. The fr- oh, 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 it's better as a binge watch, I think. Because I think yeah. sometimes these episodes can move a little slow. They have this overarching mystery that they're going to, like, I'm, what, 14 hours into it now? Mm-hmm. And I've only learned a bit. It is better if you can just watch them back to back. If I watched, if if a, if one of these episodes came out and that was all I had for the whole week, and there was ninety seconds worth of forward motion, it would frustrate me. Yeah, there's multiple plot lines. One of the interesting things, and I'm not going to spoil anything here, but the season finale of season one had three different cliffhangers. It's like the like three different crazy. There was there was the crazy thing happening at the diner. Oh my God. There was a crazy thing <laughs> happening in the basement of a house. There was mm-hmm. crazy shit happening off in the woods. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and there may I have been more. I don't remember the diner I mean, thing. Um, you drop someone showed hint? up at the end of season one. Um, oh, oh. showed up. And was that it, the, it was unusual. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, an unusual thing happened there. So so, so then it ends. And you're I can't imagine having to wait a year. Like, like I'd have completely forgot. But it, but it made me instantly buy that stupid fucking MGM Plus app that has nothing else on it. 